This is question three on exam form A. All right. The question reads, a population of rare insects on an isolated island has been observed to double every three years. If researchers counted 400 e insects at the beginning of the study, how, how many years would it take for the population to grow to 1800? And the hint is, first find a formula which gives the population of in insects on the island after t years of study. Alright, so the information we can get from that up is that there's 400 insects at the beginning of the study. So that means there's going to be 400 insects at time zero, because that's the beginning of the study. We want to know how long, it, how many years it would take for the population to grow to 1800, and it doubles, the population doubles every th three years. So if we started out with an initial value of 400, and the population doubles every three years, we're going to put two there, and we're going to raise it to the exponent, t divided by three. That means every three years, we're going to be doubling this 400. And if you plugged in 3 for t, you would notice that you'd get 2 here, because 2 raised to the first is 2. So 2 multiplied by 400 is 400 doubled. And we want to know how many years it would take the population to grow to 800. So this equals p, and we want to know when the population, how, how many years it takes for the population to reach 1800. So we just plug in 1800 for p and then we want to solve for t. Now the first thing we're going to do for solving for t is divide this 400 over to the other side. This gives us raised to the t divided by 3 on this side equals 2 raised to the t divided by 3. Now this is in the exponent, and we want to try to get this out of the exponent to solve for t. So to do that, we want to take the ln of both sides. The reason we take the ln is because now we can take this exponent t divided by 3 and we can bring it out to the front of ln divided by 2, or ln of 2. So, that's going to give us... this value. And now from here, we would just divide by ln of 2, get that onto this side. multiply by 3 onto both sides. So our final answer is going to look like this. Which, so this is our answer, and that corresponds to